In this video, we will take a look at how to make an animated subscribe and hit the notification bell button right inside of Derby Illustrator. So make sure to stay tuned because that's coming right up. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another video tutorial here at Design with Munib. I'm Munib and in this video, I will show you how to make an animated subscribe and hit the bell icon button just like this right inside of Adobe Illustrator. So to start off with, I'm gonna of course open Adobe After Effects and I'm gonna make a new project. I'm gonna add this little button to create a new composition. I'm gonna call it uh, something like a Master Comp. Now I'm gonna import the background. I'm gonna double click in the project bin and I'm gonna navigate to the directory where my background is stored. If you don't know how to create this background or if you don't have it, watch my video on how to create the blue Sardusk background right inside of Derby Illustrator. Now I'm gonna drag the blue Sardusk background and drop them into the timeline. And as you can see, it has been dropped into it. It perfectly fits the 1920 by 1080 format. Um, so now, while selecting the blue uh, star disk background element, I'm, I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna say Open Effect Controls. I'm gonna open this little arrow. I'm gonna open up Transform. Now there's uh, the rotation. So now, if I just increase this rotation over here, you can see how uh, it's affecting the whole of the image. Um, so it's uh, leaving this transparent background. I'm gonna uh, increase the scale to perfectly, uh, excuse me, cover up the whole canvas, so something like this. Uh, so n now we know what's going on, and uh, I'm gonna zoom out. I'm gonna go to Composition, Composition Settings and I'm gonna make sure that the composition duration is uh, something like 6 seconds. So in the start I'm gonna uh, click that stopwatch icon thingy right there to enable keyframing. I'm gonna hit that, I'm gonna set it to 0 and in the end of the composition I'm gonna set it to 15. So if we just play this. Something like this would happen. That's even better when we have doubled the speed of the rotation. Now here I have imported the subscribe button vector I created earlier in Adobe Illustrator. So this is just a simple rounded rectangle uh, to the very light gray fill with a darker gray stroke and I have got uh, a check mark uh, png from flaticons.com check out that great website i've written subscribe text and i have also got a bell icon from flaticon.com you can easily create this uh, for yourself so i have imported this and uh, now uh, let's go to the first frame let's actually increase uh, the size of the scale of this, I'm gonna while selecting the subscribe button, I'm gonna press S to open up the scale property. I'm gonna uh, let's uh, make it something like uh, this. That's okay, and um, that's 215. Let's uh, remember that, and uh, let's make it zero. I'm gonna keyframe that, and uh, somewhere near the hundred let's make it 120 or excuse me 230 so a little bit up and uh, I'm gonna just do this now I'm gonna do this 200 and 200 let's just do that I'm gonna do this 220 Let's do this 210 and let's do this one more time 250. So now if we just play this, 
it's a little bit slow. Yeah, let's change the positions of the keyframes a little bit. And that's something going on. Let's select every one of these uh, keyframes uh, while holding shift. I'm gonna right click, go to keyframe assistance, easy, ace. Uh, now it's a little bit smoothed out. Uh, so now let's uh, go at the two um, seconds point and I'm uh, gonna import a cursor. So the cursor is again. I have downloaded it from flaticon.com. I'm just gonna drag and drop this into the project bin panel and again in timeline. I'm gonna move this to the two second mark point so the cursor is uh, disabled till the two second mark point. Now at two second, I'm gonna move, uh, excuse me, I'm gonna open up the transform position. I'm gonna keyframe the position, I'm gonna move this right down there, so it's not visible. Now I'm gonna go this to about uh, 4 seconds, and I'm gonna move this to uh, something like this, it's clicking on the bell icon, and I'm gonna also reduce the scale a little bit. So if you display this, just click that, and uh, let's keep this uh, like this a little bit. So if you just stop that, now I'm gonna import the green dots. I have just created a green circle in Adobe Illustrator, so I'm gonna just drag that into the timeline view. I'm gonna just uh, enable these towards uh, this time frame. I'm gonna copy and paste that. Uh, I'm gonna move one over here and the second over somewhere here. I'm gonna both select them, uh, select the scale, and make them a little bit smaller or something like that. So now, if you just do that, play that, that's good. And uh, till here. And I'm gonna now close the drop downs. I'm gonna select the cursor and I'm gonna press P to open up the position. And in there, now I'm gonna move this all the way to there so it's outside of the screen. Uh, so now I'm going to move it. Right about there, I'm gonna select this keyframe. I'm gonna copy these properties. So 1822, this here, 1548, 724. So 1548, 724. And we're gonna adjust these handles to correct, uh, to fix the part point. So now if we just play that. Yeah, that's cool. So uh, the only thing left now are the sound effects. I'm gonna import them both. And uh, for the pop-up, I'm gonna use a swish 8, something like this. And right there, where the click's happening, I'm gonna add swoosh 1. Yeah, right there. So now, if you just play this, Yeah, 
that's just about it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then make sure to leave a like on the video. If you loved it, then make sure to subscribe. Check out my other awesome content on the channel. Make sure to also watch my other graphic design tutorials if you like this one. This has been Munib, and until then, see you later.